Um, the first um, ALA award that I got was um, a Geisel honor for Rabbit and Robot. And that was such a crazy experience because I have to admit that I was not paying much attention to any of the awards except for Caldecott. I was just fixated on Caldecott. That's the one for me. That's the one I want. Yeah, Caldecott. But so I had never even heard of the Geisel Award. So when they called my house very, very late at night one night to tell me I had won this award, well, my mother, thankfully, happened to be at my house, and Tom was on the road. My mom answers the question, or, or I mean, I'm sorry, my mom answers the phone, and they, they have this conversation with her about this award, and she's just like, Giesel? Goosel? G what? Huh? You know, and I had no idea what she was talking about, and she gets off the phone, no idea what just happened. But then later I got a text message that said the Geisel Award, but I still didn't quite realize what it was. So I looked it up online, I'm like, oh, that's nice. And I go to bed, and then at two in the morning, I just wake up like, oh, this is a really big deal. <laughs> oh, man, and then I got excited. But that was just bizarre. And then later, um, El Defo got not the Caldecott, but a Newberry honor. And that was really exciting um, because I was totally not expecting that either because no graphic novel had ever achieved that. So everybody said, oh, it should, but it won't. Oh, it's really good, but it's not going to go there. So this committee really, the Newberry committee, really took a leap here. And um, that was just amazing, an amazing experience. And what it's done to me is it has filled my email inbox up <laughs> to massive amounts. Um, just more people wanting to have conversations and hoping that I might um, come visit their schools and do presentations and stuff, to which I would love to say yes to all of them. But um, that's just not, there's not enough time. and. So that's been the main change, but I was telling someone earlier today, it feels like all of that happened to somebody else, that it's just a separate, even the book El Defo now feels like it's somebody, it all happened to somebody else. It's my book, but you can sort of be jealous of a book, sort of like, well, what if I never write a book that's as well received as this one. And that might very well happen. And you kind of, you start to see it as its own entity. And that's sort of how it felt with the medals too, that it's just this ethereal <laughs> thing <laughs> that, but that really did happen to somebody else. So, but a total honor. I mean, if anybody had said to me, oh, you'll be recognized for your writing, I would have just laughed in their face, you know. Caldecott, so, um, so that was kind of neat that I had come, come to this as an illustrator, but have come out of it as almost more recognized as a writer, but that's kind of neat.